Um, I'm Daniel and I'm going to be presenting with Stephanie and Hector and our talk is on Yes, We Can Notate, Problem Solving Journals and the Standards for Mathematical Practice. Next slide. Okay, so, one question that we were considering as we were thinking about our topic is what do students do when they encounter unfamiliar or complex problems? Um, we often tell students to stick with it but um, what can we tell them besides just like squeeze your brain really hard and hope an answer comes out because that doesn't really work that well. This breaks down into two steps, one of which you guys should, or I'm pretty sure we're all doing, where students are spending uh, time working on rich problems. Um, the thing that we are focusing on though is giving those students pause for that metacognitive review where they go back and look through their work for maybe that day or that week um, and to explain and label where they're exhibiting those standards for mathematical practice. Uh, note, we're only going to start with three SMPs for the year, but as the year goes on, we might add more or switch them over. Uh, next slide, please. <coughs> so here's an example of student work um, from the high school students. As you can see, they're very neat, organized. Um, not all students are like this, but from our sample, a lot of work looks like this. Um, so they might look back a few weeks later and might not know what's happening. So one thing that they might put on their slides next is something like this. Um, I'm trying to look for patterns, and they labeled it with the SMP7, which is low part bank use of discretion. <coughs> uh, next, please. Um, so these annotations uh, encourage them to be neat, organized, and, and so on, so that they can have that record for later use. So this is. Um the first page where they have the instructions. And you'll see that there. we ask them to take a few moments just to look at their notebook page, their journal, math journal work from that day, um, and see if they notice any interesting or any like salient spots where they use the math practices next. Uh, and so then we ask students just to really hone in on a specific part of their work. So if it's like a section of their page, as you saw from Hector's, the, the examples Hector went over, that was not a full notebook page, it was just a section and then they can um, annotate and explain why it serves as evidence for their for one of those math practices. 